How chubby was he? How chubby fluffy? Pacific Wonderland! at work and I am home for the day. I have a lot of homework to do today. I have to write at least, I don't know, I have to write a lot of pages. I have a 15 page draft due tomorrow and I have only four pages written. And originally I was going to break it up and I was going to write like two pages here, three pages here, four pages here, whatever. But no, of course, I procrastinated like I always do and now I have to write the whole thing minus four pages today because tomorrow it's due. It's pretty nice out again. It's sunny. I mean, it's a little cloudy, but it looks nice still. What do you think, Paris? Are you ready for your breakfast? Yeah, huh? You are. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm ready for my breakfast too. I'm hungry. So what about you guys? Do you guys procrastinate like I do? It's so hard not to. That is like something I really need to work on because it is not helpful, it's not beneficial, and it just ends up stressing me out, but I can't seem to not procrastinate. If you used to procrastinate and you don't anymore, leave in the comments below a tip on how to not procrastinate. Okay, for serious procrastinators here, it'd be really hard for me to stop procrastinating. I know it's a thing I can do, and really it just takes self-control. <laughs> Alright you guys, I have my little workstation all set up here. Got my laptop, paper, research, lots of research. I'm still procrastinating obviously because I'm vlogging because <laughs> I don't want to start. But anyways, you guys, I wanted to share something really fun and exciting for you. For those of you who have been following Corbin and I, um, because you really like traveling, I have an awesome couple for you guys to watch. It's a friend of mine from college. Her name is Heather, and she's now married to Logan. And they have been traveling for about six weeks now in, I believe, all over Central. Yeah, all over Central America. But they're actually going to continue traveling all the way until about July. So they'll be traveling all over the world for about six months. All over Central America and all over Europe. And they don't have a YouTube channel, but they do have a written blog and I have been watch I have been reading it and seeing these awesome pictures and posts that they have been putting up and it is so, so incredibly awesome to see everything that they're doing. So I encourage you guys if you really are into traveling to go Follow them on their blog. I'll have the link below. It's just really cool, so go do that. I'm home from work, but someone's in a bad mood. <laughs> She's had to do homework all day. And now I think I'm going to have to file my taxes and do boring stuff like that. Are you having a good day? Are you in a good mood? He's been cuddling with mom. How chubby was he? How chubby fluffy? Are you getting chubs, Paris? Oh, we love you. <laughs> just the way you are. You're getting chubs? He says, no, I'm just fluffy. <sighs> I just went through my taxes and I started going cross-eyed and I don't think I did it right so I think I'm just gonna have to take it to someone because I don't know what the heck I was doing um, but I was sitting here and I was reading through comments too and I really wanted to start doing travel tip Tuesdays again because a lot of you have been asking us for advice on traveling and um, where to go and what to pack so I kind of wanted to start that up and I'll just start doing it in Monday's vlog so that way it'll be travel tip Tuesday for you when you see this because I'm doing it today when really it's Monday for me, but you'll see it on Tuesday. So I wanted to start that up and the first um, question that I wanted to answer is from Janelle Trapani and her and her husband are actually going to Europe for the first time. Congratulations, it's gonna be freaking awesome. And they're going to some of the same places as us, Paris, Rome, we didn't go to Nice and we didn't go to Barcelona, which I really wanna to go to Barcelona, so I'm super jealous. But you guys are going to have a blast. She wants to know what we packed, especially shoes and how many outfits we brought. And if we had room for souvenirs. Um, so basically, if you go back to our first vlogs, it was like London, our first adventure. It shows us packing. 
and it shows the backpacks that we use. We just used normal backpacks. We didn't use hiking bags and we just packed a couple outfits. I think I only had three or four shirts and like two pairs of pants and we just washed everything along the way because we stayed at Airbnbs which had washers we made sure that each one had a washer so that way we could wash our outfits every couple days I don't know how many outfits Kelsey had let me see if I can interrupt her studies Kelsey how many outfits did you have I had you don't have two, two dresses I had one pair of pants like Three shirts, I think, and we definitely didn't have enough I think for a that's whole. It. We definitely didn't have enough for a whole week. Mm -mm. And as far as souvenirs went, we actually didn't have that much room for souvenirs. A good idea that I didn't think about: get clothes as souvenirs. Like, don't take as many clothes, and then you can just buy clothes as souvenirs. Like, one of my favorite souvenirs. Well, I have two, but one of my favorite ones is this Irish sweater that I got in Ireland and then it just doubled as my sweater throughout the trip so it actually worked out because then I had a sweater and I got a souvenir. I also got this Irish hat so that I could wear and I didn't have to pack it. One more thing about souvenirs is some stores actually ship you things and you can ask if they ship to wherever you're staying, if you're staying in the US or if you're staying in another country. Some of them will be able to ship you things like we got this in Dublin as well and the store just said they could ship it for us for a small fee and then we got it when we came back from our trip. So there's a couple of creative ways you can actually get souvenirs. You just have to know what they are. And now you do. Alright, the only other question that I see right now is from Ellie Grossman1 on Twitter. She tweets, what is your advice on how to not get homesick? Um, that is actually a very good question because we did get homesick for our home. Um, if you mean homesick for family, I'd recommend traveling with someone just because you get to share your experience with them. It's also a lot safer if you're traveling with someone because you'll always have someone else with you. But if you do have to um, travel by yourself, I would recommend uh, an app called WhatsApp. It's actually a text message service that you can use anywhere in the world. It just uses internet. So you can still text people. Um, you can still FaceTime because that just uses wireless internet. Just be sure to say places where you have Wi-Fi. Um, FaceTime would probably be the best bet if you are getting homesick. Then you can just open up your phone or your laptop and talk to them right there when you're in a different country. Alright, so thank you Janelle and Ellie for your questions. If you guys have any other questions, just be sure to tweet me using hashtag WanderAdvice or just leave a comment below and I'll try to answer it next week because I'm going to try to do this every Tuesday, Travel Tip Tuesday. It's pretty fun and I hope I helped you out a little bit. There she is, still pounding away on her paper. How far have you gotten, my love? I oh, don't know. Oh, how many pages? Well, I'm typing it out right now. I have it written. Oh, you hand wrote it? Well, I only hand wrote half of it, but I took a break. I'm going to type it, and I'm going to hand write the rest, and I'm going to type it. Eesh. Well, I'm going to go to bed. But thumbs up for Travel Tip Tuesdays if you guys like the travel tips. Let me know if you guys have any other questions you want answered, and I will do it as long as your guys' questions keep coming in. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, because we make videos every day. So we will see you tomorrow. Ciao for now. Got the peanut butter on one side and then I have my raspberry chipotle on the other and then cheddar and bacon and there it is. Boom!